Welcome back to this side of 40. This is your girl Lou. Just wanted to come to you with the things that I loved over the, over the summer so that you can have an opportunity to know if the Annex Facial products were worth the spend. Starting off with LA Colors Matte Foundation in the shade Cappuccino. This was truly worth the buy. I bought this back at the end of May. It lasted me all summer. It is a full coverage. So if you're not like one of those girls who likes some full coverage, this may not be for you. Um, however, the shade was amazing. And I'll just swatch it right here on my hand for you. And it's that full of a coverage. Very, very creamy, glides on easy, blends out easily. I mean, you can use your hand or a brush or a beauty blender and get perfect coverage every time. Um, so this was worth my $4 from Family Dollar. The other product I got this summer was Wet n Wild's Cat Eye Mascara. And this has a beautiful wand. I love the wand in this wholeheartedly. This was $2.00. It was $2.50. It was totally and completely worth the spend. Will definitely be repurchasing after I use up some other things in my collection. <coughs> Another mascara I used up this summer is the Waterproof Mascara from City Colors. And this is a really good black mascara for your lower lids. That wand is so tiny. Just gets those lower lids together. Um, it... At the what I bought it at in a makeup box, so I think they had it priced as a dollar fifty. Um, it, it's worth it to me. Then the other product that I ran through is the Baby Skin Pour Instant Pour Erase and by Maybelline. This was really good. It, it's completely gone. I hit complete bottom on that. Would definitely repurchase. After I use up some of the other things I have. Um, and then this is the Wet n Wild. And this one is a magic um, potion face primer. And it, they say it gets rid of like lines and things like that and fills it in. Um, I can't say all that for it. But I can say it does mattify the skin. And it does leave a white cast kind of like Milk of Magnesia. So um, I like them both. Moving on, I'm on at pan on the L'Oreal True Matte Face Powder, and this is in the color C8 Cocoa. This was amazing on top of that foundation. Just amazing. I got so many compliments on my skin this summer. Moving on, that LA Colors um, Contour Palette. And everybody knows I love this thing. This is my everyday holy grail. I can make this work for me. I, I've hit pan on so many of the colors in here. All three darker shades. All, all three of these lighter shades. This shade right here, I didn't really get into using it. It is kind of on the banana powder kind of e side and I would have to use Topaz if I use Ben Nye so I haven't I didn't use that one but the rest of them I did and I love and the bronzer in here honey this is that taupey kind of gold it's not a yellow gold it's a taupey gold so it is chocolate girl friendly and when you swatch it it's amazing and if you blend it out Still amazing. So definitely, definitely was worth the eight dollars. They're now selling it for eight dollars. When I purchased this one, they were selling them for four ninety nine, but they have jumped up to eight dollars. I will still be repurchasing this because it was worth the money. Then, um, my girls are always giving me lipstick or chapstick. Um, my oldest daughter gave me this orange sickle ice lip balm i really like this it's very hydrating however i can't use anything with citrus in it and this does have real citrus so i'm gonna have to chunk it 
but it's good and hydrated. If I could get another fragrance or flavor, it would be great for me. Then um, the contour sticks, I have a jumbo white one and I have a one in the color bright light and they're both by LA Color. And as you can see, I'm almost done with this. This one is like basically coming out of here. I'm going to use this up. Really does help me when I do eyeshadow looks. It gives me a nice defined look. And this white jumbo pencil, they're both for a dollar piece. So worth the money. Moving along. Um, if I just want to do a light powder and not really do a face, then I use the Ruby Kisses because Ruby Kisses does, it is a full coverage powder and there that goes then the last thing I used up and then I'll tell you about the new things I've been using the last thing I used up was the wet and wild natural uh, finish setting spray I will not be buying any more of this I think they changed their formula because now it has a fragrance and it didn't used to have a fragrance and the fragrance makes my eyes water so I'm definitely over this now what's new to my collection um, I just started using these eye drops um, I don't know if anybody else but these ones are hydrating eye drops um, and this is the Walgreens brand one I really like this. I have really bad allergies every summer, and this has been my bae. Then I went back to my old school lip, lip favorite, Carmex. I keep one in my purse and one here with my beauty space, so when I'm doing my makeup, I am able to hydrate my lips. Then um, my favorite setting spray, and I got three of these now, so I'm going to constantly keep these on backup. And um, it's the Magic Collection Rose Water Hydrating Mist. Now, this is not a really considered to be a setting spray. It's more of a face and body mist. But when I use this on my makeup, it sets it perfectly good, well for me, and it lasts all day. So I um, got this from my local beauty supply. It's $5.99. You can find it on Amazon. It's, I believe it's $9.99 on Amazon. I have three. Then my fragrance, um, my new fragrance this month is the Chanel Number no. 5. Now, Chanel Number no. 5, I know a lot of people say it's a classic fragrance. It truly is. Um, it retails for about $150 in um, the 1.7 ounce bottle. However, I love the classics. I'm more of a perfume woman than body spray. I used to have a whole bunch of bath and body um, body sprays. I gave those to my youngest daughter, Mummy, and then the ones we did keep in our bedroom, we used for bathroom spray, um, Ricky and I. Then my other new thing that I got, and I got this one, I purchased the um, Wet n' Wild face um, spray, setting spray, is the new Dumi Luminum, Luminex Base um, face primer. This is actually really good. I don't use it all over my face. I just use it on my cheeks and my outer parts of my face, like here on my cheeks, tip of my nose, right here, and on my chin and in my forehead before I put my, um, foundation or concealer on it. It does give me a little bit more of a lighter look in those areas and it helps. And it does go on very smoothly has a kind of peachy color to it. Let me see if I can get you guys some out so you can see it. And that's what it looks like when it comes out before you blend it. And once you blend it, it's very blendable. And see, it does help you keep that little shine or shimmer to your skin. So that as you put your foundation on on top of it, it gives a natural glow. It gives you that nice dewy look, the luminous look. Then um, my new primer that I'm going to be working on um, is the Wonder Skin. And this was from Shop Miss A. And it's the AOA brand. Um, I will tell you that this is a silicone based product. It does eliminate my pores it does make my makeup glide on very easily it was worth the two dollars i spent on it 
Then the other new thing to my makeup collection is makeup eyeshadow shields. Got these off of eBay for a dollar. It's a hundred of them. I gave some to my youngest daughter, Mummy. And so that's been a really great thing. Then I got more lashes, ladies, because, you know, I said I was going to quit lashes. But I found out it was my setting spray, so I'm no longer using it. And these are the two different styles that I got in the mail. Um, I do have more coming in. But these are the ones I have for now. Then my new mascara that I'm using is the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Volume Express. You guys, this right here is the business. This right here is the business. Um, I love this. It was worth um, the spin. Uh, one of my clients, she always buys uh, multiples of things when they're on sale with coupons because she coupons, so she gave it to me as a tip. Really appreciate that. So I can't tell you the price on that one. Then my eyeshadow palette of this last of the summer has been this Beauty Creations. Oh my God. I have several, and I know you guys see me at Christmas with all my eyeshadow palettes. If you guys are interested, I will show you all my eyeshadow palettes and tell you what I think of them if you guys are interested in that but this right here there is no black in here that's the only thing that would be missing I don't like to wear black eyeshadow so this is perfect for me but do you see those greens those wines the burgundies the rums this right here is a purple and honey it's just the perfect kind of rummy purple um and let me do you guys one of the shimmers look at that just beautiful and they swatch so easily just beautiful 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 in love with that that has been my favorite palette all summer um, I can honestly say I'm on the last set of this um, Skin Naturals Nurtures um, face set. And um, this is by the New York brand. And you can find this at Family Dollar. You get the, sh the face wash, the toner, and the face um, lotion. This right here, this moisturizer right here has been really good. I have eczema and as you can see, I'm not broke out anywhere. So I'm so happy with that. It doesn't really have a fragrance. So if you're one of those girls who needs a fragrance, may not be for you. Then I went back to using the Magic Collections lip glosses. I have this one and I also have a pink one that I keep in my purse. They have a little glitter in them. Oh I had forgot how great these things were. I remember being a younger woman and using these, and they were like everything. Last but not least, on my newest finds, purchases, or whatever, I did finally break down and get one of the makeup brush cleaning um, op battery operated bowl sets. And this is what this looks like. I ordered this from eBay. It was $10.99. Um, it was delivered by Amazon. So <laughs> that's that. My fragrance of the month that I've been trying to kind of like use more of is this one. Juicy Couture. This is the original Juicy Couture. Uh, I have the top off because I love to smell it. But um. Yeah, and that's how much I use this month. I have several perfumes, so I will be switching out my perfume next month to using something different once September is over. And that's about it, you guys. I just wanted you to know what I have been using, what I fell in love with, what I didn't like. Oh, one last thing. I, I remember I told you guys I was at a makeup remover. This is the Walgreens Fan makeup remover. This is their My Silver Water. It has a funny fragrance. It like to me it smells like I have to open it up and to me it smells like dirt. Yeah, it smells like dirt. It's for sensitive skin and um yeah, it does smell like 
dirt a little bit to me. It works really good, but it has a funny fragrance. And like I said, I'm sensitive to fragrance. I am going to use it up. It was $4.99. I will use it up. Um, the fragrance is not so bad that I can't use it. It's not making my eyes water or breaking me out or any of that. So I'm going to use it up, but I probably won't purchase this one again. If you guys like this video or these kinds of videos, please leave me a message um, in the line below. Tell me what you guys like to see me do videos on. Are you guys missing the makeup tutorials? Should I do more of those? Should I do some hair tutorials? Um, or what is it that I can do to help you? Well, thank you for watching and please comment, rate, and subscribe and have a nice night.